Stan Gibalisco here. Continuing our discussion of schematic symbols for field effect transistors. In the previous video we learned <clears throat> what the symbols are for junction field effect transistors. In this video I will show you what the symbols look like for metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors or MOSFETs. This uh, series of videos has to do with Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics, published by McGraw-Hill in October 2013, the third edition edited by yours truly, spiral binding so that it'll lay flat if you get the paper edition. Requires no battery, acquires no bugs or viruses, and if you spill your diet mountain dew on it all, it'll get as wet. And you can fold it back. Kind of cool. Anyway, on pages 48 and 49, I believe, we dealt with the symbols for field effect transistors. Well, now maybe I'm getting ahead of myself here. There's... Okay, yes, bipolar transistors on page 48. Junction field effect transistors in the top of figure 3-42 on page 49. Then we get into the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors in uh, C and D of figure 3-42, page 49. You can probably see them here uh, well enough. I Hopefully you can. I'll, I'll draw them larger in a second here. This right here is the end channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or MOSFET M-O-S-F-E-T that one there is the p-channel MOSFET okay well in the previous uh, <clears throat> video here were the symbols for junction field effect transistors now when you have a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor you can tell, and I'm going to draw it really big, because these symbols can get just a little bit complicated, a little bit of detail in them. This is how we indicate the gate in a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Here is the drain. Here is the source. Now, that doesn't yet tell us whether it's N-channel or P-channel. If you want a discussion of metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors that goes into quite a bit of detail as to how they are constructed and how they differ from junction field effect transistors, an excellent source of information for that theory is the book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Now, the, uh, I authored this book. The current edition, as I make this video, is the fifth edition, edition number five, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. You will, however, find this material in all editions of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. That is the symbol for what we call a depletion mode device. And again, the, the exact meaning of this term, depletion mode, is discussed in Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Right now, though, I'd just like to show you the symbol. We indicate an N-channel device by placing an arrow pointing in, in this little thingy right here inside the symbol. That's how we indicate that. This is an N-channel depletion mode MOSFET. All right. How do we indicate a P-channel device, do you suppose? Source, 
gate drain there's the little half square thingy an arrow pointing out that is a P channel depletion mode MOSFET one thing about all these metal oxide devices you do not want to let yourself get a static charge on your body and then touch one of them. They'll burn out this little metal oxide layer right there. It's like a very fragile capacitor and you will destroy a MOSFET of any kind if your body has any electrostatic charge on it. That's why you'll see lab technicians wearing wristbands connected to ground. I did that, and it doesn't have to be a dry climate either. I did that in Miami. All I had to do was just touch one of those things. No noise, no indication. It just died right then. Just touch it and they die, unless you are grounded. Well, there's one other type of field effect transistor. Metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor that you will find occasionally well actually more than just occasionally source gate drain the metal oxide layer which is a dielectric layer that sort of looks like a capacitor this little symbol part of the symbol in here enhancement mode An enhancement mode metal oxide field effect transistor. There, the, there is a very subtle difference, and once again, I would like. Well, it's not so subtle, really. It's pretty dramatic, but it's, it's esoteric, and it's described. But it is described in this book, if you are interested. I hope you are. Now there are, as with the other types of field effect transistors, the N channel or the P channel. N channel, we put an arrow pointing in like that. P channel, put an arrow pointing out. Just turn that arrow around 180 degrees. <clears throat> or pi radians, for those of you who are into trigonometry and things like that. Stan Gibalisco from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America, signing off with this remark in the back of this book, The Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics. You will find um, all of these uh, schematic symbols, but I didn't include enhancement and depletion mode. I did not distinguish between those. In fact, this book doesn't even get into the enhancement mode devices. Hmm, I, I think maybe in the next edition I'll have to remember that and get into that, but I didn't want to get into a lot of theoretical discussion about semiconductor technology here. I just wanted to show you the basic schematic symbols, how to read diagrams and how to draw them. If you're more interested in all that theory, instead of the 170-page Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics, you can get this one. Now, you want some heavy-duty stuff. Let me tell you, this stuff gets into some pretty sophisticated mathematics, particularly in chapters 15, 16, and 17. Nothing that you can't handle if you aren't, haven't had high school mathematics and are willing to put a little glue on the seat of your pants, sit in a chair, adhere yourself to the task of studying, and be willing to put up with a little bit of mathematics. Again, that book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Let me push this one. This one's been pretty popular, actually. Stan Gibalisco saying so long. 
from the Enhancement Mode Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America.